welcome back to the math dojo this video is going to be a little bit different today um, it is more for the parents and on the math dojo channel we are going to do videos not only for the students of like how to math content topic categories for um, certain subjects in math but we're also going to be doing videos for the parents how to grow your child's love for math how to um, grow a lifelong learner, some tips and tricks and resources for the parents at home. Um, this is something that I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to share my knowledge and just what I know with everyone else. Um, I know this time is very stressful and very hard. It is unexpected for everyone. Um, I know just me as a parent, um, one of my kids is school age and is now home. Um, doing Google Classroom and all of these assignments at home and it is a huge change. I can't imagine what you guys are going through with multiple kids at uh, school age um, just with everything that you guys have to do, everything that you have to juggle and it's all a huge change. So I wanted to put this video together. It's 10 tips for parents as we're moving towards this um, distance learning. So these tips are going to help you be less stressed um, kind of set a plan in place so that it's a lot easier for you guys to go about your day. Um, I know some of these things that I've put in place have really helped me and I've seen a difference in not only my sanity but my kids um, overall happiness being at home um, looking forward to things so I'm excited to share these and I know some of them might sound like mm, I don't know if I can do this but maybe not do all 10 at once, maybe uh, think about what's gonna be the easiest for you to implement. We're gonna jump right into it. Um, tip number one is digital quarantine. So basically limiting your child's um, use of cell phone, text messaging, uh, phone calls during homework time. When it's work time, it's work time. So put their all of their digital devices in quarantine. <laughs> Um, put them to the side. They do need um, to do their work on the computer, but as far as like texting and, and social media and all of those things, put those to the side while they're working. So tip number two is to make space for your learning. I actually had a little mini desk out in storage that we had to bring in um, and it just created this sense of like, this is my space, this is where I learn. Um, when my son comes down, uh, he eats breakfast, not in that space. Um, that space is just for his work. He puts his things away. He has this little special corner, but just have a space for their learning. It makes the whole atmosphere and, and the whole feel of the day when they're doing their homework a little bit more special and a little bit more like focused. This is um, work time, okay? All right, so tip number three is to monitor the computer monitor or the computer screen. So just keeping an eye out. Um, I know working on the computer for your child, it, I mean, it tires our eyes out. So I'm sure they're, they're zoning out, they're getting tired. Um, so just monitor their, are they taking notes? Are they working? Are they um, staying focused. So if you kind of are cooking in the kitchen and you have your eye on them and you see them zoning out or you see them um, kind of getting tired, looking at the screen, um, just kind of give them a little encouragement and help them through that time. Also to monitor the screen, make sure they're, they're going back to tip one, make sure they're not on the social media um, during the work time. This brings us to step number four, which is a digital recess. So as they are working, they should be working, but let them take a break. So put your timer on your phone or your timer on your watch, um, maybe have 15 minutes of um, work time and focus time with a five minute break. Um, we are going to get into um, other forms of digital recess, but for this, um, it's all about communication. So talk to them. Um, tell them what your expectations are. Go over this before they start working. Um, have some motivation behind it. Have a reward or some kind of celebration. I know for my kid, he's a lot younger, but 
um, he just likes to celebrate. We like to pour a glass of, like a little um, glass of apple cider at the end of his um, his work time, and we clink to toast and we celebrate and it's it's fun for him so find out what your what your child likes and what they would work for um and have those digital breaks and have that digital recess for them that brings me to the next step right, step number five is video chat and text messages so encourage your child to video chat or text message or call their friends um, instead of scrolling through social media it's really important during this time that your child does not feel um, distanced from their peers or just very um, I know the first week I was like not talking to anybody during work time I had like eight hours of my work and I was just I felt like a zombie um, so make sure your kids are not like work 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 um, have them get in front of the camera um, text their friends instead of going from looking at the screen doing their work to looking at their screen doing social media so make sure they get some talk time in make sure they get some text time in during that digital recess or after their work time okay so step number six is to keep it old school so what that means is not everything has to be on the devices not everything has to be technology based i think an old-fashioned book <laughs> an old-fashioned book but just a book um, something keep it different keep it interesting not everything needs to be on the on the tablet on the technology on the technology on technology okay that's why I'm not an English teacher by the way that's why I teach math step number seven is to know that you're not alone so call up other parents ask them about how, what's working for them what they're doing um even how are they doing are, are they struggling do they need help do they need support be each other's support um know that your the teachers are here for you we really need to work together and come together do not be afraid to call please um we are here we we want to help we we don't know exactly what your needs are um if we need to sit for a few minutes and work out problems with your child we're here to do that i know for arts in action we are here from 8 to 11 and then from 1 to 3 for you so please use the, the, those time we really are here for you okay so step number eight is to plan the work and work the plan so this is something that my son loves to do. He's loved to do this since he was a little kid. Him and my mom have a hand map where they start off their day um, and they actually now that he's a little bit older, it's gone into like a list. Um, but he used to have on his little hand where he used to go, uh, first we're going to grandma's and then we're going to go here and then we're going to go to the grocery store and then we're going to go back around. And, you know, it was so cute. But Plan out your day, have these things lined up and planned out so they can check, check, check. It's very relaxing to have a schedule and to stick with a schedule. Take five minutes in the beginning of your of their work time um, and plan out what they need to do, okay? All right, so step number nine is that is that it's not a vacation. So even though it feels like a vacation because it is a break from school, from going to school, not a break from school, but a break from going to school. Um, we get to sleep in a little longer. It might feel like it was a vacation the first couple of days, but remind your child that there are still um, grades, there are still um, tests, quizzes, things that they need, deadlines, due dates. School is still happening. Um, so just remind your students that they need to prioritize, um, make a schedule, <laughs> and, and stick to it. That brings me to step number 10. Tip number 10. This is the best tip, and that's why I saved this for last. Tip number 10 is to make sure you have fun, okay? So, I know, I know, just make sure you have fun. On my son's schedule for the day, he makes sure he schedules in some fun. So maybe if I can find one of his, we, we always recycle the papers. We have a recycling bin and my daughter likes to like throw everything out of the recycling bin um, through the day. So we put a lot of papers in the recycling bin so that keeps her busy sometimes. But 
if I can find one of his schedules or one of his lists, I'll, I'll put a little picture up. It's so funny. Um, but he definitely schedules in his um, digital recesses, um, his uh, celebrations, and his time for fun. Okay. So what this looks like is we go outside and play basketball. We go outside and throw around the football. We go outside, we take his sister out, and we play tag, um, play hide and seek around the house. Obviously, these are for my son and our little ones, um, but find what your child likes to do and try to be involved in those things. Really make time. Your family is, is all you have right now and you're with them all the time what well, we should be with our families all the time we should be home a lot more so we don't get to see our friends every day and we don't get to go out and see other people all the time so make sure that when you guys do have fun you're doing it together um, I am going to uh, put some resources down in the description box um, resources like games that you can play um, one of the games that I like to play like math related is I'll just get a handful of um, coins and throw them out on the table during his break. I'm like, take a break. Make 75 cents with five coins and I like, and you can pay for this cheese. Or just, just little things like that um, to take their mind off of work, have fun, and interact with you. Um, I know your kids are older, but they still want, they still want attention. They still want to interact with you. Um, so make sure that you are a part of those fun breaks. Go outside, take a walk. Um, you need some fresh air too. I am going to, my next video is just tips for you as parents to kind of unwind, um, and take care of yourself. Um, so make sure you stay tuned for that. <laughs> I am going to be including resources down in the bottom of the description bar. Make sure that you take a look at those. Some are educational, some are fun and games, um, activities. Okay. I hope you guys are having fun. I hope you can implement this in your home. Um, please let me know down in the comments how it goes, what you're implementing, what you guys are going to do first. Um, what you think you can do um, and what you think is not for you. If you do need extra resources, let me know, please. Um, if you have a video idea or video topic that you want next for parents, um, let me know and I will be glad to get that out to you. I'm so excited for this. Um, please subscribe, like the video if you like the video, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye.